Hi, welcome again to another Windwalker video. Um, in today's video, I'll be talking about our monsters list. Um, our monster generation, actually, and how we're balancing monsters in our game. Um, and this is kind of the list of all the monsters we have in our game, um, at le what level ranges you can find them, um, different stat modifiers we'll have for them, how many of these monsters will be generated, um, these are the mobs, the tameables, this isn't finished. Um, I thought I had it here, actually. Um, yeah, the different bosses we have. Um, and this sheet that I haven't named yet, um, this is where I'm calculating uh, monster balance. Um, and before we get to that, we can talk a little bit about um, PvP or PvE and just monster stat generation. Um, we don't want just randomized stats for monsters, and we don't. We also don't want just manual. Um, I don't want to be manually inputting how much of each stat each monster has because I'd like a scaling system where I can um, just click a button and generate monsters that have meaningful stats. So what I mean by that is like an orc should do more physical damage and a fire elemental should do more fire damage, um, something along those lines. Um, so these are some notes that I took um, when I was trying to decide how I might scale monsters. Um, I, I realized that the players gain um, two stats per level from uh, levels one through 10, and then at 11 to 30, their first class, they'll gain about um, 6.5 stats, primary stats. Um, and at 31 to 50, they'll gain eight and then some change. Um, but in addition to this, players will also be progressing through the item system. Um, they can have a headgear, body gear, uh, footwear, um, a main hand weapon, an offhand weapon, on top of an, or as well as an amulet. Um, so they'll have an accessory as well. So monsters, um, their item level. I guess you can think of item level as like a difficulty level in some sense, but we already use that difficulty. Um, term somewhere else, so I'm just calling it item level. It should gain based on player's gain as well as player item level gain. So I essentially just, these numbers on the right hand side are educated guesses. These things may change as this system begins to mature, um, but during this early stage, this is what it looks like. Um, so these numbers are like not based on true calculations, but they're based loosely loosely on my calculations. Um, so this is like how much they'll gain per level. So at level 10, they'll have plus 40 item level. Um, and this one at level 30, they'll have plus uh, 270 item level and so on and so forth. Yeah, so this is our item level calculation for items, I believe. And then... Um, I did a test, so I generated amulets and got the average item level based on the rarity um, and the, the gain per, uh, per level. So I kind of just got the midpoint here, like plus two, and then on the players, another plus two, and then I added those up essentially to get this number here. So it's not 100% like going, going to be accurate, but... Um, that's what it's based on. So, um, with that being said, monsters also have difficulty levels, like I mentioned earlier, um, which will give the player more experience, uh, will be a more difficult challenge. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the sheets. So what I did here initially was, um, we can ignore these first two columns. In fact, let's move out a few. So these are the different items in our game, or different stats in our game. And this number represents um, 
how much this, this number represents the item level gain that each monster should have based on the level range. So for a level 10 monster, if I want to scale them accordingly and give them strength and not focus on any other stat, what I would need to do is multiply this number by the level, which would be 10, and give that monster 40 strength. And then I wouldn't have to add any other strength. Um, what I can do instead is, instead of give it just 40 strength, is give it 20 strength and 20 dex, two primary stats. They, they're they scaled off this number, um, the 1f, 1f. And I can scale it that way, and it should be relatively balanced. So that's kind of what I've been doing um, with these monsters. I just have them here so it's easier to view. So I'll see bandwagon standard. Um, here, let's... Let's open up that dictionary, actually. So this is the dictionary of the character's base stats. Bandwagon standard here. Um, here, let's do this. So the bandwagon standard is going to start at level 21. Um, so what I did was I can look at this column here. And let's see, what did I do for him here? So I didn't add any primary stats. Um, HP is 300, so I can go down here, look here. So bandwagon standard should gain 63 HP per level if that's the only stat that I'm going to give it, which it obviously isn't. Um, so what I could do is 63 times 21, and then he should have this much HP, and then I shouldn't like worry about any other stat. What I'm seeing now is I don't think I balance this guy well, um, but this gives me a loose sense of how strong a certain monster should be. So like really quickly, um, I spent more time doing this before, but what I could do is um, for these stats, let's see, so nine, nine times 21, right? What's that? So it's about like 189 stats which actually sounds like pretty high but when we're adjusting for the different stats that's actually not that high um, so what i can do right now is give him like 10 constitution and i can subtract 10 here um, and then he has i think it said it could i could give him up to like 1500 hp so instead of that um, i'm just going to like say okay let's just give him like 650 HP, physical damage. Since he's going to be seen at the 21 to 50 range, um, let's see, physical damage gets 22.5 per level. So let's say 22.5, and he's still 21. So let's just multiply that by like 4, 90. You can add this. Defense, let's just say 100, scales in a similar way. And then I know, generally speaking, like I'm going to be off a little bit right now, but um, during like this early stage, I think this is fine. And I'm going to I'm going to generate these monsters and play test the game and see, oh, is this kind of working out the way I wanted, or is it not? Um, I could like throw in some resistance there that scales by one, I believe. Where's the resistance? Oh, wait, three. Okay. So every three points will give me one item level. Um, yeah, so I could just kind of add these resistances in there. Um, this is not what I'm going to do with this guy, but just to show you guys um, kind of how that system works. And then in this monster generator here, I just have this giant switch case on which monster it is, figure out um, what stats that monster can have. And in addition to that, we have um, so different modifiers based on the monster type. Certain monsters will be offensively uh, oriented, defensively oriented, agile, brawny, spellcaster, and then default is just kind of balanced. They have like just pretty much any stat that any monster will like benefit from. 
I have I have here, and then you can look into here. Offensive modifiers, we have HP, Dex, Int, Count, Strength. Damage shows up a few times, and what the algorithm does is just kind of randomly choose one of these. Um, yeah, so I guess now I can, um, nope, not that one. I can demonstrate kind of how gener generation works. So bat, let's go back to the here. Bat is from 11 to 30, that's the level range. And difficulty one, let's just generate the three of them per level. So it's going to generate uh, about 60, 60 bats. Three per each level. And now we have the bat folder here. We can see different three of them at level 11. Um, we can see that these stats are changing, kind of provides a sense of uniqueness. These bats are strong. And then at level 30, you can see that these stats are higher as well. A lot of them doing elemental damage. So yeah, it, it makes me think there's something that needs to be adjusted or some sort of like calculation is going wrong. Um, I have logic in here that now I'm thinking probably isn't isn't exactly right. So we can do a little bit of like a deep dive here. Um, I have this function here called generate stat try void duplicates. And essentially what that does is it finds a random stat. Um, let's see now this modifiers. I don't know, it is in the modifiers. So it goes through this this list and it finds a random stat and it chooses it. And then sometimes a monster is going to have multiple like new stats. So let's say on the first pass it chooses HP and then it goes to the second pass and it wants to add a different stat. Now if that same stat is HP, what it does is, oh no, there's already HP on it. Let's look for something else. Let's look for something else. And then once it has HP and then Dex, it it won't it'll try to find something else as well. And it'll do that four times. Um, and that's what I call retries here. But it looks like it's generating or it's doing that so often that essentially every monster just gets a little bit of all the stats. And that's probably not what I'd want because it just looks like all of these bats do like multiple elemental damage. Sorry about that. Um, so it looks like, yeah, a lot of these guys are just doing random elemental damage. So this is something I'm going to have to look into a little bit more. Looks like it's potentially even adding on top of an existing bat. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look through this a little more. But yeah, so this is kind of where monster generation is currently um, in its infancy stages, as well as uh, monster balance. Hope that was useful to some of you guys. Thanks for watching.